With Drew Brees aging, the New Orleans Saints have a plan for his successor, Taysom Hill. Hill has been known as the human Swiss Army knife for his unique role that he's had for the Saints. He's a good player, but is he good enough to be a starting quarterback in the NFL? Injuries, age, and some of his recent performances say no. First, I'd like to acknowledge that the majority of the people who watch our videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Help us out by subscribing and joining us on our way to 100k because it's coming fast and you don't want to miss your opportunity to enlist in the J&D Army. In week 10 against the San Francisco 49ers, Drew Brees left the contest early with a rib injury. Brees suffered multiple broken ribs and a collapsed lung, landing him on injured reserve. After the news, many people expected Jameis Winston to take over the starting role, but Sean Payton decided to go a different route, instead starting Taysom Hill. The decision shouldn't be too much of a surprise for those that have been paying attention closely. A lot of people in the NFL media world believe that Payton firmly believes that Hill is the future for the Saints. The Athletics' Jay Glazer has been one of the portrayers of this reality, saying, Sean Payton loves him, but it's not just him. The whole team loves him, not just Sean Payton. I think Sean was always hoping to unleash him on the league without anyone seeing him before, but now we've seen it with Lamar Jackson. Hill is one of the most versatile players in the NFL and has earned the nickname the Human Swiss Army Knife. He had one of the most unfortunate college careers I've ever seen. Hill attended Brigham Young University, where in five years, he suffered four different season-ending injuries. Hill played quarterback at BYU, but he did much more than just pass the ball. He had 6,929 yards and 43 touchdowns to 31 interceptions through the air, but he was just as good, if not better, running the ball, going for 2,815 yards and 32 touchdowns. Coming out of college, Hill signed with the Green Bay Packers as an undrafted rookie. He played in the preseason, but was waived by the team. The day after, the New Orleans Saints claimed him, and he's been with the team since. As a rookie, he barely played. Peyton used Hill at a variety of positions in 2018, mainly at primary kick returner. He completed multiple fake punts and rushed for two touchdowns on the season. Hill continued to establish himself as a player like none other in the league in 2019, catching six touchdowns and adding a rushing score. The Saints made it clear that they wanted to keep Hill around this past offseason. As Hill's contract was coming up, New Orleans put a first-round restricted free agent tender on him, worth $4.641 million. Hill signed an extension of $16.3 million for two years on top of the tender. This should have been the first sign that Peyton wanted Hill to succeed Breeze, but the decision of starting him over Winston was the confirmation. With Hill behind center, the Saints have gone 3-0 and sit at the top of the NFC South at 10-2. In his first career start, he passed for 233 yards on 18 of 23 and rushed for 59 yards and two touchdowns against the Atlanta Falcons. The following week was arguably the worst quarterback duel in NFL history, with the Denver Broncos starting undrafted rookie wide receiver Kendall Hinton at quarterback due to COVID-19 protocol. While Hinton went 1 of 9 with 2 interceptions, Hill did his part in the bad passing day, going 9 of 16 with an interception. Hill added 2 touchdowns on the ground, however. Last week, Hill finally passed for his first career touchdown, throwing 2 against the Falcons. He was 27 of 37 in the contest. Hill is expected to start again this weekend against the Philadelphia Eagles. New Orleans is facing an uncertain future as Breeze nears retirement. The future Hall of Famer will turn 42 years old in January. Peyton has essentially reconstructed the New Orleans offense with Hill behind center, hoping that he could be a long-term answer at quarterback. Breeze had one of the lowest play action rates in the league at 17% before he went down due to injury. But now with Hill, the Saints have utilized the play action and even used it on 40% of dropbacks in his first career start. There are plenty of reasons to be skeptical of Hill being the future in New Orleans. For starters, relying on a 30-year-old who had four season-ending injuries in five years in college sounds like a bad idea. Hill brings a great deal of mobility that Breeze doesn't have, but that one trait could very well make Peyton want to limit him due to his previous injury problems. To get a better look into Hill as a starter, let's take a deep dive into his first career start against the Falcons. He had some issues, some of which we can mark up to jitters. However, the real on-field performance issues started with some awful sacks. Hill took a bad sack to end his first career drive, before later in the contest taking another bad sack that knocked the Saints out of field goal range. Additionally, he fumbled on his longest run of the day. 
potential interception-worthy passes were perhaps the most telling issue, though. Hill was able to escape the contests without an interception, but he likely shouldn't have. In the red zone early, Hill should have had an easy interception, but instead, the linebacker just dropped it at the goal line. That was one poor pass, but the biggest issue I want to focus on is his deep ball problems. There were two really bad deep balls that could have been intercepted, both of which went to Emmanuel Sanders. The worst of which was a pass that was somehow more than 10 yards behind Sanders. The coverage on the play was awful, allowing Sanders to make the catch, but you can't make those same mistakes week in and week out. Taysom Hill is only three games into his starting quarterback career, making it hard to give a good representation of what his future looks like. One would say it could be too early to judge Hill, but when do you really start evaluating a 30-year-old quarterback that you plan to take over your franchise? The future in New Orleans is as mysterious and confusing as it gets. Thanks for watching. If you love JD Productions, check out JD Hoops, where we're going to be uploading basketball content soon. We'll be releasing our first video once we hit 1,000 subscribers, so go ahead and hit that notification bell and follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more JD. We read all of our DMs and love hearing what you have to say.